Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today I have a quick corner fold design that I want to share with you. And the best part about this design is that you can use any pattern paper or supplies you have on hand. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have two different corner fold card ideas that I want to share with you. Now the corner fold design is created with the designer paper. So that means you can use this design with any pattern paper that you have on hand. It's super fun and a great way to create just some quick cards for any occasion. Now the cards in this video feature the Latte Love bundle from Stampin' Up. So this particular bundle has a stamp set and a coordinating die set. However, as I mentioned, you can use this design with any supplies you have on hand. So the first card that I have to share with you featuring this corner fold design is just a very quick and simple card. And we're gonna create this little fold here and you can use any kind of embellishment here to just decorate that corner of the fold. So let me show you how I made this. So you're going to start with a piece of pattern paper, which is cut at four by five and a quarter inches. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to measure this. And so this will make it much easier to create that diagonal design. So I'm just going to measure in two and a half inches and I'm just gonna make a little mark on my paper. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the side. I'm going to measure in two and a half inches. So I have two little tick marks on this piece of pattern paper. So now I am ready to create the diagonal design. So basically what I'm gonna do is just line up these little marks here in the groove of my paper trimmer. And then I'm just going to score right along those little marks. And that will create this little corner fold design. Okay, so now I basically just have a little corner fold design here on my pattern paper, and I'm going to adhere it to a four by five and a quarter inch piece of white cardstock. So I'm just gonna add some glue here to this, the back of this, and then we'll just adhere it to this white cardstock. Then you just simply add some dimensionals to this little diagonal section and then just fold it back onto itself. And then I like to adhere it to white cardstock so that I can just quickly stamp a little greeting on there. So I'm going to stamp just one of the greetings from the set and I'm just using some early espresso ink. So we'll just stamp that on there. And now we are ready to adhere this to a card front. So I am using pecan pie cardstock for the base of my card. So it is just a standard card base. It's five and a half by eight and a half. And I just score it in the middle at four and a quarter inches to create the base of the card. So let's go ahead and adhere this to our card front. And then again, you can embellish this little corner here with any kind of, you know, little die cut shapes or stamped images that you want. So we're just going to kind of offset these little coffee cups here and create our little focal point. So I just added some dimensionals, a little bit of liquid glue on the back, and then I'm just gonna pop these up right on the card front. So that's the basic design, very simple to create, just a unique little card. You can embellish it with any embellishments that you have on hand. And then of course you can add some images and some designer paper on the inside just to decorate the inside. So it's a quick and simple card idea and it's a great way to show off both sides of your designer paper. Okay, and the second card idea is actually just a card idea in landscape style. So you can, you can use this corner fold in either portrait style or landscape style, but I did change the measurements on this card. So I'm gonna show you how to create this one as well. So for the second card, I'm still using a four by five and a quarter inch piece of pattern paper except for instead of measuring two and a half inches in, I just did it at three inches, just to give a little wider corner fold. So I'm just gonna measure three inches across the top, three inches on the side, 
And then again, we're just gonna line up those little marks that I made, those three inch marks here in my paper trimmer. And then I will just make a score line across. So this is what our little fun fold looks like. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to adhere this piece to a four by five and a quarter inch piece of white cardstock. So we'll get this on there. And then again, we're just gonna add some dimensionals to that little flap and fold it back. And then go ahead and adhere this to your card front. And now you can decorate this in portrait style or landscape style. So we're gonna go with the landscape style. So the next thing I did is I just cut two square shapes. You can use the stylus shape dies to create this piece or you can just cut a regular square. So the white square is two and three eighths by two and three eighths. And then the pecan square is two and five eighths by two and five eighths. And so basically what we're going to do is just stamp our greeting on this little square. So I'm using early espresso ink and we'll just stamp it on the bottom. Then we'll just adhere these two squares together. Then I just added some dimensionals just to the part that is gonna be on this white part here, so kind of diagonally. And this glue is what's going to overlap onto the paper here. So we'll just add this right in the corner. And then I just cut out one of the coffee cup images and we'll just pop this up kind of right in the center there. All right, so that's the basic design. Then you can go ahead and embellish it. Uh, you can add as many or as few embellishments as you want. And then of course you can add some images and paper on the inside. Okay, so there you go. Now you have two different ways that you can use this corner fold design in your card making. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.